playoffs the first time in school history. Falcons did a lot of that work with a very nasty defense led by Mountain East Conference Defensive Player of the Year, Quincy Redmond, who will be back again this year on the defensive line, along with seven other starters. Fairmont will usher in a new era at quarterback after the graduation of Cooper Hibbs. Wideout and special team standout Lawrence King will make whoever has that job much easier, along with running back Terrell Charles. Fairmont State is big to finish third in the NEC this year. And here to preview the Fighting Falcons in his fifth season as head coach, please welcome Jason Wood. All right, thanks, Travis. Um, again, kind of, uh, I know it gets repetitive, but uh, what Reed and Adam and the staff have done uh, for our conference is remarkable, uh, not just football wise, but you look across the board at every sport. Uh, the things that we've been able to accomplish as a conference is something to be proud of. We're proud to be a part of that at Fairmont State. Uh, thanks to the media again for, for showing up. Uh, I think this is probably the most coverage we've had since we've been here. Uh, I'm also honored to be part of these coaches. I have a lot of respect for every single one of these guys. Uh, there's a great deal of uh, knowledge and talent up here that, uh, you know, from top to bottom, I don't know if it's matched in the country. So I just want to make sure we talk about that. Uh, 2016, obviously, uh, we had a little bit of fun. We enjoyed uh, parts of it, but we also remember how it ended. It didn't end the way that we wanted to end. Uh, we know that. Uh, we didn't accomplish really anything. We, we weren't standing at the end with rings and uh, things that we talk about, our goals at the end of the season, being the best in the country. We, we didn't accomplish that. So we moved on, we moved on fairly quickly. Uh, we made sure to be in the spring drills that you know we, we understood that 2016 was over. And, uh, luckily, defensively, we bring seven starters back, a couple upperclassmen that have been through a lot. And uh, they've done a really good job through the spring of kind of set the tone and getting us uh, you know, back on track where we need to be to, to continue to be successful. Uh, some of those guys, Quincy Redmond, obviously a senior defensive end, Marcus Porter, linebacker, Steven Turner, safety, uh, all three guys coming back to a, a defense who's been able to, to do some things and be successful in the past. Offensively, it's a different story. As Travis talked about, you know, we lose a four-year starter, a quarterback, and a, and a receiver that was uh, one of the best combinations in school history. Uh, we also lose three starters up front on the offensive line, so there's a big question marks going in. Uh, we do return uh, Terrell Charles and, and Lawrence King at running back and wide receiver. But again, uh, you know, it's a big question mark. I've asked, been asked a million times who's going to start a quarterback, and I tell them the same thing. I'm not, I, don't, I don't know yet. We'll figure it out here in about uh, three weeks. But uh, we do have some talent coming back. We have guys in place who've been through the program, and we've added a few transfers that we feel confident about. Uh, but again, you know, uh, we have great expectations, and, and I think the expectations are conference-wide. I think that uh, for us, these rankings really haven't meant much to us in the past, and that's really no different uh, this year either. You look at some of the teams that are picked at the bottom of the poll, and, uh, you know, in our minds, they have really good players and it doesn't make a lot of sense. So uh, we know going in each week, we're going to focus to get better every day. Uh, the good thing about our conference and the strength for us is that you have to stay focused week by week. You have to make sure that you're focused on your opponent uh, if you don't, you're going to get beat. And um, I don't think it gives much opportunity to any team to kind of look down the road to any national uh, playoff or, or national rankings. I think that uh, we have to focus week by week because of the competition in our conference. And again, that's a compliment to these guys beside me and, and the players that we've been able to bring in. But uh, right now, guys, you know, we, we, we kick off August 31st in Fairmont against the PSAC opponent. East Stroudsburg comes to town. And, uh, we're excited to get back on the field this week, or, or beginning next week. We're excited to get the guys back in town this weekend and uh, see what happens. But, uh, you know, we just know that we're going to take this thing one week at a time. And if we're able to, to do some things that we weren't able to do in the past, that's going to be a plus. But for us, we're going to continue to get better every day. So thanks.